Yay, it's winter in Michigan. Nah, just kidding, this really sucks. No metal detecting for me right now. So what I figured I'd do is I'll go through some of my stuff from the last couple of years. I've really only been metal detecting hard the last three years. And we'll see what's in the pile of stuff that I got. Anyway, happy hunting everybody else that can get out and enjoy it right now. Well, it's January 24th now. The sun's out, 24 degrees. The snow's finally quit for right now. As you can see, I'm squinting pretty good. I'm loving that sun. It feels good right now. But I just want to say thank you to everybody that subscribed. And I'm trying to get thank yous for subscribing back out to everybody. And when people comment, I'm trying to say thank you and responding to them. But I don't know if it's getting back to everybody or not. So once again, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and hopefully I'll get back out there soon, and everybody else, keep posting those videos, because I get laid off in the winter, and I can't go hunting, so I'm living by it vicariously through everybody else. So thanks again. Well, those are my jars I keep stuff in, and I got baggies I store everything in, and that's what my wife wants me to... Make a display table, display case, something to put things in. This is just some of it. I got more in the garage, so I'll grab a little pick of that too. But this is some of the better stuff I keep in the jars. Drag it out and see what's there. Now this is all the stuff I brought out to the garage a little bit earlier. These are all the toy cars. There's some Tootsie cars and things like that. One, another project, another day. Here's a couple of the old toy guns. It's an old rodeo one. Star on it and all that. Missing a little bit of it. Not, not in all that bad a shape for being in the ground. This is that other toy gun. This one's in a lot better shape. It was the first big one like this I found. Surprised me when I found this one. This is one that I thought, oh boy, I hit metal and I thought, oh, this is going to be real, especially the size of it. So scary sometimes and some of the sterling plated spoons nice spoons a little cup thing from Muskegon Michigan from way back when it was smushed and hose nozzles part of a horn or fork and old saw Thinking about getting another blade for this and taking that out with me and putting it in my metal detecting kit to help with some of those roots. Probably will. And some old hooks and things that used to be used in the old logging days. Tying the logs together when they threw them down the river and everything else. Big old nail. All sorts of oddball things. Little file. It's amazing what you find when you get out. That's why I love doing it. Never know what you're going to find. And here's an old Ford nut cap or whatever you want to call it. Toys, an old lock, all sorts of different things. And here's an old cigar tin. Between the X. An old one. Out of the water. I say most of my stuff comes out of the water. More little cars. I one more. Like I said, I got to sort through a lot more. And of course, more fishing weights, things like that. That's not all of them. Trust me. A lot of them I gave away already. Then more cars, more fishing stuff. I don't know. That's part of an old hammer or what kind of a tool that used to be part of. But. I say a lot of lures and things are already given away. Well, that's what makes this hobby enjoyable. You just never know what you're going to find. Really not going to be much rhyme or reason to this. Just going to kind of go through it. That's my clad for the last two years. And that one I've got all my quarters, nickels, and dimes. And then in that one I've got all my pennies. But here's all the gold that I found in the last two years necklace I got last year and in the same spot is where I got this one the bracelet that's 10k that one's 14k yellow gold and they plated it with rose gold that's why it's the color it is about 18 grams of 14k right there and here's the silver rings from the last two two and a half years 
This is that first ring that I ever found. Got a heart on it. That's just got a bunch of markings on the inside. Don't know if I'll ever be able to figure it out. A lot of markings in it. On both sides of it. And here's another old one. The jeweler said she thinks it's Jade. She kind of cleaned this one up for me. She said that's a really old ring. And some poor kid's class ring. Still haven't been able to track him down yet. Then here's my bag of silver coins. I gotta get some things to put those in. Some halves and all that kind of thing. The nickels and buffalo nickels. Did get my first B nickel last winter out in the channel. Another old token for here in heart. My clothing store. And found this etched out nickel in my front yard one day. I was like, what in the world? And then a couple more halves and other stuff I gotta go through and put it away. An old marble. Pennies, change. And another bag of just stuff. There's pendants and necklaces and watches and there's a Harley Davidson emblem thing. Hair clips, Boy Scout things. More oddball clips and things. Sometimes I don't even know why I save half the stuff I do. And these are all earrings. Just junk ones. Another oddball things found at the beach. And another little cross. Oh, that's a big cross. More lipstick tubes. An old compass. Found that at an old CCC camp here in Michigan. Called and they said, yeah, go ahead and hunt it. People there had never even heard of it. <laughs> like, okay. And that cross with a saying on it. And then this is one, another one of the first things I found in the water. Little old army man. Love these things. Part of one. <laughs> then more junk jewelry. Bracelets. Metal pendants. All sorts of things. Glasses. Well, I'm going to need some of those. I must have thrown about 40 pairs, 50 pairs of junk ones, but those are in good shape. So one of these days I'll probably need them. I'm cheap. I'll try and figure it out. And these are all my junk rings. The little mood rings. and There are some older little kids rings in there. So I haven't figured out the best way to clean those ones up yet, though. And this was an interesting thing. I dug down literally three to four feet to find this sucker. It was deep, and I thought, well, I'm going to keep trying for it. One of those things where it's probably a can, it's probably a can. Just kept going for it and turned up this. I think it's a bocce ball, what they call them for some game. I don't know, it's heavy. It was different looking when I first found it. And a few of the knives. This one, somebody had just must have just lost it. So it's in great shape. This Swiss Army knife. And let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah, this is a knife I found last year too. This is the one I'm using now. The Sog Twitch 2. A nice little knife. I like it. And a pair of old glasses. They were in one piece when I got them out of the ground, but I put them in my finds pouch and big mistake. And they all shattered the glass. The glass is broken in this one. It was in this one. And then bouncing around in the finds bag, it just destroyed them. But I love these old wire glasses like this. Just amazes me what you can find. That's why I love doing it. And a couple of old fishing reels. This one, the bigger one, still turns and still works. I think it's 
from what I've heard, anyway, and from what my brother-in-law mentioned to me, it's like from the 40s or 50s. i get a better picture of that. I love that thing. And here's the bigger one. And it is made by Ideal Casting something. Got a 80 on the bottom of it. Must be the yardage for the line. And then this little one, which has definitely seen better days. Still an old rail, an old rail, cool to find. And a few more of the toy cars. And more junk stuff. I, say, I really gotta sort through this again. I already did it once, but I need to go through it more. Some other little pendants and a couple more little junk rings and little tokens. I, say, I love the hobby. And it's nice getting out when you can. And oh yeah. I found this one too. I thought it was just going to be a sinker, but then ended up turning it over, and it looked like it had marks in it, teeth marks in it. And sure enough, flipped it back over when the sand got rinsed out of it, and some poor sucker lost his cap on his tooth. Bet you he was bumming about that. Anyway, happy hunting, and hopefully I'll get out soon again. And. I'm going to try to do some live digs here eventually. Maybe I'll have to get one of those cameras that are waterproof and all that. And This is fun. Anyway, happy hunting.